Nathan, I'm a bit concerned about this next product. We've looked at a couple of robots on this channel, things that are automated, things that can help you throughout the day. This is one, it's a bit iffy. It's a bit off-putting, if I'm gonna be honest. This could be the beginning of Terminators. This is a robot that helps you monitor your house. It's a security camera, but it's not stationary. It roams around, it looks around, it sees everything. Your patrol over the internet anytime, anywhere. I don't know what that means. We're gonna check it out. It's a bit disconcerting. Let's see what it's about. So, this is the robot in question. It is called the AppBot Riley Smart Home Robot. Of course, there's an app both on Android and Apple. Patrol over the internet anytime, anywhere. So it seems like you can monitor your house no matter where you are in the world. But that's, that's a worry. If you can monitor it, that means anyone can. So, we're gonna see if it's secure. AppBot Riley charging station auto, so it charges itself. Power adapter, micro USB cable, quick start guide inside of the box. And here are a couple of the functionalities of it. 360 rotatable, head turns 120 degrees, tiltable, that's up and down. Wi-Fi, battery, easy setup, motion detection, live view, still shot, night vision, HD video, video recording, two-way audio. So if someone's doing something inside of your house, you can scream at them. Charging station again, and then instant alerts. If the seal is broken, don't use it. It's not broken. A couple more features. It has a five megapixel camera, night vision, of course, that we mentioned, a speaker, microphone, grippy tank belts, and then charging station. It's like that Terminator Salvation. Did you ever see that movie? Nope. It's like a Terminator, it has guns on its hands, and it's on tank wheels. <laughs> All right, I have nightmares about that. It's gonna come and kill me. This is the beginning. Not bad packaging. This robot goes for 150 bucks, so keep that in mind when you're looking at it. So inside of here, you have a couple of charging devices. You have your wall outlet, you have a micro USB cable, and then you have your quick start guide. And then here is the robot, the Riley robot. It's a bit strange when you start naming robots. It's like it has a personality, all right? You make it mad, it's gonna come attack you. And then here's a charging station. Now, it knows when it needs to charge, so it'll automatically go on this and start charging, which is a nice touch. So power button, reset button at the bottom. Of course, there's that five megapixel camera at the front of it. We're just gonna turn on the. Let's just put it on here. Let's see what happens. There we go. It's activating. There is a pink charging indicator over here. All right. The Riley robot. So at the bottom of it, you hold down the two buttons, it says, until it starts to indicate that it's green. Already scouting our house. I am ready. Okay. Chill. All right, so you go to your settings, and you're supposed to connect to it through the Wi Fi. Enter password. What does it say the password is? Password 11112222. Join. All right, so now we've joined the internet connection of the robot. You worried, Nathan? A little bit. I'm worried. So here we go, it's connected. Now I need to connect it to my Wi-Fi. It's getting synced with the cloud, Nathan. Right off the bat, it's giving us controls to control it. Does it not leave its station? I'm trying to back it up. Back it up. It's not backing up. I wonder if I take it off. So now it's free to roam on its own. We took it off of the charging station. The charging station is moving. How does it move? Oh, it's not the quickest. Oh, hi there. Should we be recording this? How do we record this? I want to film this. 
All right, so now we're filming it with the app. As you guys can see, I look like a ghost on the app. Not bad, not bad. Brings out my, my brighter side. So in terms of movability, it is a bit sluggish. But I mean, when you're trying to sneak up on someone, it's a bit noisy. I mean, if you're trying to spy on someone, you know, you're trying to sneak up on your, your brother or something, he's going to know you're coming. It might take a while. It might take a while. Maybe it's just low on battery. All right, speed test. Not bad, not bad. Now, what happens if it needs to auto charge? Does it have that feature? I want it to, can it auto charge? I want it to auto charge. There we go. So I click, it's now looking for its charger. It says, plug the charger in. All right, there we go. Let's click the charging thing again. Does the charger need to be in front of it? All right. So, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna try to get it to charge itself because it has that auto charge feature. So I'm gonna click one of the options in the app. It says auto charge. We're gonna click it and hopefully it sees it. Yeah, see that? It's a bit funky. It shows on the screen a blinking light and it's gonna go to the light like a moth. That's kind of cool. How come I don't see it being pink? Oh. Oh. That's not too bad. It's like the vector robot. Yeah. What is this? What is this, Nathan? Look at this. What is this? A man with a target sign on it. What? That's how you die, okay? So it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna find someone and try to kill him. Do you want it to undock? Yes. All right. I want it to track me. What happens when it tracks me? It's got that man tracker features. So click on the screen, click on settings. Man track. Man track. Does it track? Oh wait, no, it says we gotta do this. So first you gotta click this. It tracks my, f ooh. <laughs> well, it missed. So you need a password every time you log into the app. It's getting a bit tedious. All right, track my face, let's go. Come on. It's not tracking the face? Oh man, I just exited the app and it's telling me I need a password again. <sighs> so I wanted to track my face. It's scanning the room for faces. And it's not moving. All right, it sees my face and it's just not look. Is there anything else? All right, let's just get it charging again. That's the only cool thing it does. By far the only cool feature. I'm just saying, I mean, it could be better. It could be worse. I mean, your cell phone has better cameras than this robot does. That's supposedly a security camera. That is pretty cool though, I like that. All right, so the security robot, is it the next Terminator? Am I worried about it killing me? I was at the beginning. I was like, oh no, there's this robot that can spy on you. It shows what's going on in your house 24 seven online and it moves. Even in the app, it had that man tracker logo, all right? A person's face with the aim symbol. I was scared, but after going through it, it kind of, it, it, it didn't really work. There's a couple of hitches with it. For one, it's super loud. So if this thing's trying to sneak up on you, you're gonna know it's coming. Secondly, the camera quality, it's worse than the super cheap phones we've looked at on this channel. So for a thing that's built to take videos, you think that'd be the number one priority, but unfortunately it doesn't have the greatest camera in it. So for 150 bucks, I cannot recommend it. I mean, it's kind of cool. I like how it charges itself. That's about it. That's all there is to it. Don't get it. It's not a Terminator. I'm a bit concerned about this thing. I feel like this is the beginning of Terminators. 
can't do that. 